morning and welcome to uh, another video from k l Flies. Uh, it is the 3rd of January and we still have no snow, uh, at least not where I live anyway. Uh, today I am going to be tying the Adams Irresistible. It's this fly you see right here. This is a very, uh, a very good pattern. Uh, a little bit of an alternative to the Adams Dry Fly. Uh, very effective fly. Floats fairly well. Uh, depending on how, how tight you pack the body. It's a fairly, fairly good fly. Okay. Okay, for the materials that we're going to be using today, our hook, our hook is going to be a Mustad 94840 size 12 dry fly hook. For the tail, we're going to be using some natural moose. For the body, we're going to be using some natural deer here. For the wing, we're going to be using uh, some uh, grizzly hen ackle or hen saddle. For the wing, for the ackles, I'm going to be using a grizzly and brown mix rooster saddle. Uh, our thread today is going to be the uni black. 8 dot. Of course, you'll need your whip finisher, your sitters, a hair stacker, and some glue. I'll get this camera up here now. In the grab background, you can probably uh, hear some uh, good old Newfoundland music. Uh, I'm it's Sunday morning, so on Sundays I usually listen to uh, I usually listen to jigs and reels. Okay, to start tying this fly, we'll put our uh, fly, our hook in the vise, and tie on our thread at the back. We're going to take a clump, not not very many, it's probably four or five strands of uh, moose hair. And place it into our stacker. Give that a couple taps. Measure the length. And tie that in. Back to the oak bin. Okay. Then we'll take a clump of our deer here clean out the uh, some of the fur, the uh, under fur just two wraps, snip off the excess just give that a spin and now you notice that I'm flaring the deer here instead of spinning it. Okay? There is a difference between spinning and flaring. A lot of people don't realize that the two are, aren't the same. Okay, and then what I do, I whip finish that there now to trim so that I can trim the deer hair. And just make a little fluffy body there. And again, I'm tying with the camera right in front of me, so it's in the interest of time, it can't be too particular. Okay, and once you get that done, you can tie your thread back on again. Oops, I shouldn't have moved like that. Okay, 
Next, we pick out a couple of our uh, nice grizzly hen in nicks. Just peel back, just peel it back like that. Okay, take a measurement and tie it in. Snip off the axis, pull the wing up straight, and just separate them. Now you can snip off that little overhang there if you want, or you can just leave it because it's going to be grizzly, going to be grizzly ackles anyway. And I just pulled off one of my wings. See, this is what you got to realize when you're using a hackle for uh, wings; it can easily happen. Okay. Now what I done just in while I was straightening up that that uh, set of wings. That hackle, that saddle, uh, in, in saddle or neck saddle broke. Okay, so I only got one wing. So in part two, when we come back, I'll have this fixed. All you do is just pull your wings up straight and divide them. A couple of figure eights in between the wings, and you're ready to tie on your ankle.